Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations and I welcome you all back to Zero to Hero series of videos too. In this video, we will look at some of the beautiful patterns. Let's get started. Let's look at a simple pattern with this one tool. Now I'm going to keep two dots. Dot one I have kept here. Just above this, another dot. So not much of a space in between the two, though they don't touch each other. This forms a simple pattern. Using the same four dots, let me show you how differently you can make a pattern. I kept the first dot. Now here, between the first and the second dot, there is no much of a space. But here I'm going to leave some good amount of space and keep the second dot. Now, I'll keep two side dots too. So same tool, same paint, four dots. But look at the difference in the outcome. And it is only because of the space we gave. Now I'll use this plain big tool to keep two dots side by side. And I'll keep a bigger dot at the top. This forms a simple pattern too. Now I'm going to use only this tool and make a very simple pattern again. This forms a simple pattern again. So the next thing that you need to know is this set of five tools. And this tool is basically used for nail art. And over a period of time, we started using it as uh, dot mandala tools as well. Now these are popularly known as dot mandala tools, whereas their original purpose was nail art. Okay, now coming to the purpose of these tools with dot mandala, when you look at uh, the two sides of a tool, one side it's going to have a bigger sized ball, the other side it's going to be smaller. So each tool has similarly. Like for example in this blue tool, this side it is bigger and this side it is smaller. When you look at this white tool for another example, this side is bigger and this side it is smaller. So every tool has balls like that. One side it is bigger, the other side it is smaller. Now these tools can simply be used for the purpose of dotting or you can also do something called walking the dots which we will see now. Now I'm going to keep a dot with this tool. Now I'll use this green tool, the small ball side of it. I'm going to keep tiny dots around this main bigger dot. So first I'll keep a top dot, then the one at the bottom. So one in the right, one in the left, then I'm going to keep one in the middle and all the four sides. So when you use these nail art tools for dotting purpose, the balls are tiny. So you need to be really slow in dotting. Now after keeping 8 dots here, looks like I can keep 2 more dots in between. So I'll do this all over. See, with these kind of uh, dotting tools, that these are acrylic rods, with these kind of acrylic rods, the way we dot is like this. We dip into the paint, we keep a dot. We dip again and then we keep a dot. So if you want to keep 10 dots, you will dip 10 times. This is how we normally dot using these acrylic rods kind of dotting tools. 
so using this tool let me tell you how do you do walking the dots so you dip not just the tip of the tool but a little more like this but once you dip once sorry but once you dip it and pick it out you won't wait or be slow until you touch the surface so dip pick it out start dotting immediately this technique of dipping the tool into the paint just once and picking up as much paint as possible start dotting immediately because when you pick up more paint and if you delay to touch the surface it's going to drip off randomly so to avoid that make sure you keep the paint pot near the place where you want to start dotting then dip the tool into the paint start dotting immediately now in this walking the dots technique what happens is when you touch the surface first it's going to drip off a lot of paint and as you keep dotting there is only less amount of paint so the more consecutively you keep dots the more it gets incrementally smaller so this is called walking the dots now a simple pattern with this technique so i'll dip i'll keep it like this and then in a curved fashion i'll keep walk the dots i can add two more layers you can add as many as you want but i'm adding two more this can form a beautiful pattern now here using this tool i'm going to keep two dots now i'm going to keep one dot at the top so if you see the difference between the main and the top dot there is almost no space is what i can say but here there is a lot of space i'm going to walk the dots in a curved fashion i've taken enough paint Now I'll do the same thing with this. Pattern is actually the same. This looks short and uh, wider and this looks thin and taller. And that's only because the distance between the main dot and the dot at the top. Nothing else is the difference. Let me now tell you the challenge some people face while doing this pattern keeping a main dot is easy keeping a dot at the top is also easier however for forming this arch or a curve kind of a pattern where exactly do you keep your first dot that matters a lot now i'll do it in a right way and then i'll also do it in an incorrect way you can see how it looks see i'll keep it little downwards and sidewards too okay i have kept a main dot now i have kept a top dot as well now instead of keeping down and side if you keep only side here this doesn't look so nice as this one so placement of the first dot for working the dots technique is extremely critical to get the outcome nice now with the same pattern what if you want to build multiple layers of working the dots like this 1 2 3 like that what if you want to do like that now you can keep a bigger dot here that is your main dot when you want to build multiple layers of dot this is what i normally do i take the plain tools small medium and big the first layer dot would be using the small tool the second one using medium 
and the third one using the big tool so now i think you can clearly see that it is incrementally bigger this is how i normally like it there is no hard and fast rule that when you build multiple layers of walking the dots like this it must be incrementally bigger no no such rule like that so you can make it the same size also but somehow i personally believe when you make it incrementally bigger it looks nice at the end if you see these three tools these three are the big ball side of the respective tools comparing the big ball side of these three tools white is smaller blue is medium green is bigger so what i'm going to do is for the first layer i'll use white for the second layer i'll use blue and for the third layer i'll use green when it comes to the first layer from this dot to the end the distance is shorter so what i can do is i can dip this tool into the paint just once and start walking the dots for the second layer i'll use this blue tool now the distance between this dot from source to destination now the distance is a little more so even if you take a lot of paint with this tool it may not be enough so in such case what i do is i dip it once and keep the first dot and i dip it again then start working the dots i'll do it for the other side also dip and then keep one dot and keep again now i'll work the dots third layer using this green tool the distance is more so i'm going to keep one dot take a lot of paint keep another dot from the third dot onwards i'll start working see here you worked the dots both sides and you can also do it only one side and that's what i'm going to show you now just one main dot since i'm going to work the dots only one side i need not keep the dot at the top first and then start working i can straight away start working this can be in one layered pattern or you can also make it multiple layered now i'll make it multiple layered the second layer using the blue tool the big ball side obviously now i'll build the third layer too i'll keep the first dot dip it again then start working the next pattern that i want to show you is this i'll keep a dot here now i'll start working this way and then i'll start from here and walk the side the other side if you want to add layers you can do it and that's going to look beautiful too let me do it for you now This forms a beautiful pattern. I love this pattern so much. I'll show you yet another simple pattern. I'll keep two dots now. At quite a distance. Now using this plain small tool, I'm going to keep a dot in the middle. Now for the next pattern I'm going to keep a dot using this tool. Now I'm going to work the dot straight and curved. Now 
one last pattern for this video. I'll keep a dot. Now instead of walking the dots, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep a plumpy dot, meaning a dot with a lot of paint, you know, and then use the other side of the tool to just swipe it. This is one pattern. I'm sure all of these patterns are going to be very useful for you to create beautiful dot mandalas. Thank you for watching this video.